So here's a simple web scraping script. Each time we pass the HTML page, we ask for the data that we want, and then we return a list of dictionaries for the data that's on that page. But this isn't ideal. So if something fails, we're going to lose all that page data. Plus, we're potentially creating large lists of lists and things like that when there is a better way, which is yield. But to understand what yield is and how it can work for us, we need to have a look at generators. So we've got this example here. So this is a simple list that I've got uh, with a function. Now, this right here is basically going to do what you think it is. It's going to loop through each of the values on in the list and then print out the sum of the function, which is just adding 10 to it. Uh, no surprises there, really. So if I run that, you'll see we get there there. Now, this is list comprehension, which is basically this, but a bit neater and will return a list back for us. So if we print out this instead, we will get our list version back. There we go, you can see it there. But there is another way. So if I'm going to, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to recreate this down here. So we can turn this into a generator expression, which is uh, basically like a shorthand generator function, which is what we're going to use shortly, which is going to return out a generator object. So I'm going to print that and I will show you what it looks like. So what this means is this is actually an iterable. So if I go ahead and turn and did print and we say let's convert this into a list like this, we're going to get exactly the same thing back. You can see there there's our list. That's come from our generator function, but we can also go through each one uh, individually. So we could say for uh, g in our generator here and we can print out g. Now what this is actually going to do is it's going to generate generate these values on the fly. And also it actually consumes this generator as well. So now if I tried to print out the list that I did just before, we're going to get an empty list because we've consumed that generator object that's come back. So this is a nice and neat tidy way and hopefully you can see how I'm going to start to put this into this simple web scraping script that we had. Let's go back to that. Uh, when I actually remember how to use uh, Vim. Thank you very much. I'm almost there. Uh, it's worth it in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this pass function here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to yield this out. Uh, and by doing that, we can actually then ignore having the lists of lists of lists of dictionaries and all that stuff. Uh, so I've got that typed out here. and I'm just going to run through it with you. See, you'll see that this is just now yielding this out. Now turning this pass function into uh, a, with the keyword yield, uh, this is basically going to return that generator iterable, that object that we just looked at. But I can then in the main part of my function go through each iterable from that generator. So then we can do something with it here. Now you'll see I'm just printing it out. Uh, but what we could do is we could add it to the final disk, the final list, or as I'm going to show you in another video, we might just append that straight to our CSV file. So we're actually writing that data as we go through without actually uh, risking losing it. So for example, you know, if something doesn't work, we don't lose what we've got so far. Now it's just a simple change of yield. We go back to the actual one here. You can see it's actually a lot neater. So let's run it and I will show you. Let's just clear this up and we'll do and we'll run the scraper one first. I'll just run a few pages because obviously there are multiple pages in this. You can see we're chunking through loads and loads of lists of dicks. So if we were to have one at the end, we would have multiple lists of dicks that we need to do something with before we can output it. But going doing it this way with the generator um, scraper, you can see that we get each one coming through as it is. Now, these are actually being looped through, iterated over them and printed out that each the title and the price, but it's just happening quite quickly. Uh, I'm using Selectolax to pass my HTML, which is super brilliant, super quick. I recommend you give it a go. I've got a video on it on my channel, so go and find that and have a look. But you can see that this is going to, how you can see how this would actually just make our lives a bit easier. So hopefully you've been looking at this and thinking, hey, that's kind of familiar. And if it is, it's because that's how Scrapey works too. You'll notice that the yield keyword sits in there a lot. You can actually yield out different things as well with Scrapey, like the, you can yield out a new request which is how I often work with pagination, how I recommend it does it. But you can really see how powerful a generator can be in this instance. So I'd recommend that you start giving it a go and trying to understand what yield does and how it means, what a generator is and how you can start to put them in your own code. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna enjoy this one here, more web scraping content for you.